on the side probably for the use of the priests and things. We're not sure where the deity would have sat inside. Uh, you can see that this whole temple is made out of mud brick. Mud brick. Thick mud brick walls. These walls. These are um, in situ. This mud brick is modern. Yeah. This is the old stuff. Mm -hmm. This is modern. This is modern. You can see the foundation line all the way around, all the way around in here. The foundation line is faced with basalt. Basalt blocks as like paneling. Paneling. Um, and the basalt, you can see it in different places here and over here. This, you can see in these blocks back here. You can see it's cracked. It's all cracked. Um, all of this is as a result of the fire that took down the city. This building was the focal point of a pretty bad, you know, um, a, a fire. You really kind of want to go and you want to get the king of the Goths, right? A uh, burnable to um, to say that you conquered the city. Where does the basalt rock come from? Yeah, it's molten magma. It was born in the bowels of a volcano as lava. How hot does the fire have to be to crack it? Pretty hot. Pretty hot. Yeah, that says something about the force of the fire and the strength of the takedown. And if I were writing about this later, I would say, that city on that mound, it was burnt. Which is what it says in Joshua. Yeah, makes a special point to mention that this one's there, uh, as you can see. So, yeah. they used a lot of stone in their building. Yeah. But stone itself doesn't burn. Did they use wood in the building, or did they bring wood in to burn and destroy it? The limestone can burn. Really? The limestone can burn, right. The limestone can burn. It's, it's, it's so organic in its birth. It's made out of the limestone, the detritus of green plant and animal life. And it's a bit porous, and the moisture in it heats up and causes the stone to crack and splinter. And the stone itself, if it gets hot enough, you, it burns into lime. Is the mortar mud? Mortar? No, no. It's a mixture. It's a mixture of mud and organic material. Um, this stuff is mud. This is just new foot here, right? Mm -hmm. But the, and, and like the old. Because it, this is also new stuff on this side. There's a, this line is a reconstruction line. This is all down below. This is all down below. And the mortar is kind of a mixture of mud and lime mm -hmm. as plaster and then binding agents like ground seashells or ground potsherds to help to bind it together. So if you could burn that and soften yeah. that, you could just push the brick yeah. wall over and yeah. shove them over. Except they're pretty thick. The brick walls are standing pretty thick. It's like pushing your shoulder into a mountain, actually, a mud mountain. The, Inside of the thing, as well, we have wood, and we have tapestries, and we have furniture and other stuff. You know, that, like a brick house, you know, the content uh, can burn and kind of get the fire going. And I would imagine uh, that once you conquer the city, you don't burn the temple to conquer the city. You've conquered the city, you burn the temple to show that you've conquered it, and then you can bring stuff in to help light the fire. Guys, yeah. I mean, A and M people know what it's like to light a fire, right? Yeah. Uh, so you, so you, you kind of, are y'all doing that again, or is that done? It's not sanctioned by the university. But it's done. Yeah, it's done outside. It's done outside. Off campus, they'll do one, but not off campus. Yeah. Okay. Probably never. Huh? Probably never. Yeah. So you can bring stuff in as well. Yeah. Okay. Think Joshua. Think the glory of the Canaanites. They were pretty powerful people, actually. <clears throat> pretty sophisticated people. They were the Old Testament's, let's say, equivalent of Rome. And a lot of Jews in Jesus' day would just as soon do to Rome what Joshua did to the Canaanites. Yeah? A lot of the Messiahs standing up in the New Testament wanted to be that person. Wanted to be the Joshua who would do that to the Romans. 
Jesus did something else. Uh, look, there's a lot on site. There's a water system like the Mojito one. There's, there's stuff on site. Um, let's wander back to the bus. We've done two out of six sites today. Uh, I'm mindful of, of the fullness of time, right? Mm -hmm. So let's do that. It's about a half an hour to Dan. Bathroom's at Dan. 